Hey, this is Courtney Rosen with MHN Property Management here in San Antonio, Texas. A few years back, we changed over from a traditional security deposit where we hold a lot of your money until you move out. And we moved over to doing a Rhino security deposit insurance. But sometimes that's not always clear because it's not really insurance like house insurance, auto insurance, health insurance, where you have a deductible and they pick up the rest. It's more like a surety bond. So the best way to think about it is this is that you're paying for a service of not having me hold your money. You're paying to someone else to guarantee whatever debt you may incur in the future in accordance to your lease and the law. You're really just buying a line of credit. So how does this work? You pay X amount of dollars up front, or you do it over the course of the lease month by month. You can set up your own payment plan. But at the end of the lease, they were not paying me anything that you don't owe, right? And so what happens is I go to them and I say, hey, Joe owes me, you know, $30 because he put a hole in the wall with his doorknob or he had a TV mount and it had a lot of screws. So now we have to patch the wall, like whatever the price is. And I go to Rhino and they say, hey, because this is the insurance part, where are your before pictures, where are your after pictures and where's the invoice for the work done? I provide all the documentation. They go, all right, $30, that's yours. They give me the $30, but at the end of the day, Joe still owes Rhino $30. So again, the Rhino Security Deposit Insurance, you're paying for a service. Here at MHN, you really have a choice. You can either do the Rhino policy or you can vote for the traditional security deposit, but minimum amount is two times the monthly rent. Hope that helps.